Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Sundays with Claude. Hosted by Reborn this one time. Oh shit, you know what? I closed the freaking call. I'm not uh, good at this anymore. Don't know what to do with my hands. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna get into it. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know what to do. My microphone sucks. This Donkey Kong music is at damn near the lowest volume it can get. So, that's as good as it's gonna go. There you go. Alright, so Yancey's back in town. Let's listen to it. Let's get into it. It still stinks in here. I want to talk to Maggie Joe today. I'm gonna to make a cast of my cock and send it to you. I don't want you to argue with me about it, please. I'm having a really hard time here and I need you to have me there. I love you so fucking much, Jamie. And there's nothing easy about not being able to be face to face with you. That's why I asked for your pictures, because I try to do everything I can to help me feel as close to you as I can. I hate being without you. <laughs> And I want to know more about this song with the turtle's panties falling off and this dance you made to it because that shit doesn't even sound good. I'm so confused right now, Jamie. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're even going through this kind of bullshit still. Never mind about me talking to Maggie Joe. I used to not have a doubt that it was me that you was in love with. Now, I'm halfway convinced that it's Will that you're in love with. The more thought I put into the way you act with him, the more it makes me feel second to him. I wasn't raised by hum. Um, this call is dated. <laughs> stop, stop. This call is dated uh, 8 11 20. I wasn't raised by hum. All that I can think is that if you wanted to be with me, then you would. But all that I can see is that you're still up there with him, and a dildo made from him. And bragging him up to me all the time and making me feel like I can't do anything re- I don't know what to think. I'm not working today. I have to get the skunk smell off Roscoe and out of the house. Maybe I should get a blow-up doll and name her Debbie. It would be almost the same thing you've done with Joe Wildo. Only you casted it from the actual person. I guess it doesn't matter. You've decided to put your friends first. Not something I ever expected my fiance to say and do, but... I also have to take into consideration that a world revolves around someone that's not me. It sucks that you plan a life with me, but you want to live your life with Will. I don't see how you think I can accept that. I think you need to make up your mind if you want to marry me or Will. He gave you a ring and I have one I'm paying for. With the bullshit closeness you're sharing with him, I'm not convinced that it's me you want. I just thought about something that's a hard dose of reality that you probably won't like and it might be correct and it might not be. It's a hard dose of reality. It might be right, and it might not be. If it's not, then is it a dose of reality, really? Uh, I'll call you Wildo now, I guess. Uh, th this is multiple texts throughout the day. She's just like not responding. So he's getting that mush brain of his is like firing on all cylinders, and it's, oh, you know, it's not something. So, Pat, you kill it every time. Uh, I can't say it enough. But if this is the kind of closeness that you and Will share, where your spouses come second, then I can understand Winnie wanting a divorce. I'm not going to be married to someone that puts me second to a friend. That might be something you want to think about while you're taking your time, putting your friend first. You didn't contact me last night when you would have contacted me by now if I were first, and if you were in love with me. It's not looking like it's me you want. I'm so sick of bullshit fucking games. I'm sorry that you're more in love with Will than you are me. Good luck to you both. What is this whole shit I'm reading? I'm tired Jamie. I'm tired of the fucking game. I'm tired of this goddamn bullshit game. I'm tired of you, uh, your, your fucking Will though. I'm tired of you fucking acting like Will's the best thing in your fucking life. 
You want to put him fucking first, you're not going to have me. You are the one playing game. You're the one playing game, Jamie. You look at all the fucking horse shit that you're doing with Will. Do you know you how the, the fucking song sounds? You, you remember that fucking turtle song that fucking Will made up that you made a dance to? Do you know how that sounds? You made up the turtle song with the turtle's panties falling off. You did a fucking dance, made up some diss about panties falling off. Yeah, I, I just noticed this, but he said that do you know how bad it sounds when there's a song about a turtle's panties falling off? I don't understand why you would be mad if a turtle lost its panties. The turtle's panty. I'm going back. Dance, man. I made up the turtle song with the turtle's panties falling off. You did a fucking dance, man. Some. The turtle's panties are falling off. I, I don't. This man is 50 and some change. I can't believe I never caught that before. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. This about Penny falling off. How does that fucking sound? You know what that sounds like? No, that was like you did. You made it up. You got fucking Penny fell off. That's no, what it sounds like. That's what it fucking sounds like, Jeremy. No, I didn't. Eighty-seven. You think about anything you're fucking doing with him? Anything at all! You fucking see me naked! You don't fucking listen, moron. You, you fucking get in the goddamn hot tub! He sees your fucking shit! Sees your fucking everything! You don't give a fuck about how I feel! Why you the fuck do I want to be somebody that doesn't care about how I feel? That fucking dildo! You got his cock in your fucking hand all the time! And I'm the fucking pussy, and you're happy. I'm glad that you're fucking happy, but I'm miserable. How does that make you feel? You do. He seems very upset. Uh, I, I don't know why I would think that, but... I just... So, again, okay, so, so some context here. The day before, she, Lauren was like, "What do you, what have you been doing? Where you been?" And she's like, "Oh, I was hanging out with Will. Uh, he made up this song, and it was so funny, and we laugh about it. And it was the Yancey song. She'll, she'll tell the lyrics later, so I won't even bother with, with the lyrics. You'll hear it. It's fucking stupid." And then she goes, "I made a dance up about it, and it was like, oh, well, why'd you ignore me?" And it takes him like 24 hours later to go, you know what? That fucking dance sounds like bullshit. And then we get, <laughs> we get this rage. You hear any like bells ringing, it's just kittens. You fucking see our hands up here! Why are you shoving them Some fucking statue of another guy's cock at the gun! Real good fucking job! That shows me a lot of love! And that fucking guy is living right there with you! Do you not think about anything? That's fucking... You look at his fucking god damn it, Jamie! His head is so fucking far up your ass! You can't see anything! He's so fucking perfect, don't fucking marry him! I'm not gonna be with somebody that's gonna put me fucking to him! That's not showing me fucking love at all! You don't fucking listen, moron. Yeah, with Debbie's name on it, do you? I know I'm interrupting a lot, but this will go up on Heelborn without me interrupting constantly in like a day or two. Um, but I mean, again, this is all over a fucking song about a turtle. I mean, obviously he mentioned Wildo, but a statue of it. But yeah, you can't, he's bottoming out his phone, he's... It's crazy. I just can't imagine. The things he's been jealous of blow my mind. I get being... being upset about someone having a dildo uh, of their ex, right? That would make me kind of mad. However, I wouldn't do this, you know? 
like, hey, you know, and if and, and if you know talking to them reasonably didn't work, you leave. If, if you don't like something this much, leave. But hey, how about I scream at her? That'll win her over. How do you fucking like that? Go for it. Yeah, go for it. What the fuck do you care? You got a fucking little dick in your hand. Somebody shove that up your fucking tongue, you're fucking great! Nobody in the world has as good as this as fucking Will! Fuck your fucking Will, though! <laughs> you wanna fucking love Will more than you do me? Then you go right ahead, but I'm not gonna be in the fucking your fucking life for that shit! Fuck. <laughs> fuck your fucking Will, though. So do I get to talk? Oh right, it's all about lawn as per usual. Oh! Of course it's all about lawn! You know why? Because Jerry's down there in her own little fucking world, with Will right there, in his fucking Wildo! And Will's so fucking great, why would she want to have the Lord? She feels safe with Will! Of course! Will's been in our relationship ever since this fucking started! Okay, so I, I think I mentioned this when this first came out, and I know you guys are probably, I, I mean, maybe not getting sick of it, but I'm just, I just wanted to get these. I think this will be the last STD call we do, and then we'll go back to what we were doing. But, uh, so the night before, also, before this Yancey, <laughs> this fucking turtle song, uh, he mentioned her, like, his argument always is, well, why aren't you up here? So one one time... That night, the night before, she says something like, well, Will makes me feel safe, and I like being around Will. Um, and maybe a couple days before, or it could have been the same night. I mean, it, it's been a while now, so I haven't read my notes. But he's very upset about the fact that she feels safe with Will and not with him. And I don't understand why she wouldn't feel safe around him. I mean, like, listen to this. Every fucking day! Fuck you! Don't tell me fuck off and you're the one out that's fucking off down there! Fuck off. The fuck you fuck off! You fucking Lord Wilson, goddamn guy! I'm fucking tired of that bullshit, you wanna put him fucking- Go right ahead, I won't be in your fucking life! Uh, 87 problems- excuse me. 87 Problems, uh, STD stands for Sing the Dance. It was the name of, uh, well, am I, yeah, I'm reborn right now. Uh, it was my old show, show, air quotes, where I would stream. Uh, Roy had said it drunk in the Green Goblin video. He said, do you want to hear us do the dance, or do you want to hear us sing the dance? And, of course, if you abbreviate Sing the Dance, it's STD, and that's, <laughs> oh, that's humor. Uh, plans of a pick dump? Mm, uh, I don't know. Reborn reality show. Alright guys, fuck, fuck listening to this call. I'm gonna start making vegan porkless bites right now, and I'm gonna show you how to spin a basketball that's deflated on my finger. You guys ready? I'm up here trying to make a fucking life for us, and all you can think about is on air with Will because you feel safe. It's a fucking mumble. So selfish and self-centered. Thanks for proving really, my feelings Jamie. don't matter. Jamie, you can't even come up here for two days to see me. And then go back down there, because I'm making that to you. I-L-I-L-L. That's exactly what it spells. Exactly what it spells. Reberon. Reberon. Uh, thanks, sir. I, I, I don't know why I said it twice. I'm going to have to figure out what I fucked up here. But, uh, thank you. Appreciate it. You don't want to fucking do it. You know why? I don't think you really... You sound like you're in love with Will. I have to Every have to talk way. about this for the hundredth time. Every fucking way you act, you're in love with Will. Every fucking way you act. You're cutting out 87.
W-I-L-L. Fucking phone is outside. Now I won't be cutting out. Everywhere you are, Jamie, you end up with Will. Everything is about Will. You are Will in all our fucking arguments. You are Will right there with you in everything. Including his fucking cock. Why does he say cock? It like doesn't that? matter how I feel and what I tell you, I don't like that. Cock. Uh, for 87 Problems, here's the, uh... Here's the intro. Oh, wait, fuck. Here we go. Here it is. Here's Roy. Do you want to do the dance, or do you want to hear us okay. sing the dance? Yeah! There you go. It doesn't matter how I feel as long as you have it. I'm supposed to come up every one. week health no. into your mold and smoke-filled trailer so you feel better. Yeah, that's not oh. selfish and self-centered. Fucking Peter O'Keefe, uh, go, I can't even remember the call, uh, Jay Potato Man will tell you. There's a point where he is like stroking out from rage and he doesn't say with other guys, he says with other guy. <laughs> and I've been obsessed with it since he showed me. Other guy. You're on the fucking room up here with me, Jamie. How are you going to do that? How are you going to fucking marry me? With Will here? You have to get better first, moron. Yeah, you have to get better first. You can come up for two days. I'm supposed to come up there with me weak health into your mold and smoke-filled trailer so you feel better. Yeah, that's not selfish oh. and self-centered. Oh, fucking bullshit, Jamie. You can't even send me fucking pictures of you. Yeah, you can let Will see you naked. That's okay. Because it's Will. Anything it's just will that has to do with me. the same will that you have a statue of his cock being naked There's a pandemic, but it doesn't matter because Lorne wants what he wants Jamie Don't well, give me this bullshit about a pandemic when you travel from California to Nashville because Nashville is a hot spot for porn Jamie can't work, but I can visit Lorne it didn't fucking matter that your fiancé was in Maine. You had no desire to come to Maine. Jamie Nashville was the hot spot. Isn't that intelligent? Yeah, no, Nashville was the fucking hot spot Jamie for porn. Jamie can't work, but I can visit Lorne. Isn't that intelligent? <laughs> yeah, Jamie can't work. Jamie's working, isn't she? She's healthy enough to do fucking porn, but she's not healthy enough to ride. I'm not you moron, you 15, cried about 15 it. 15, 15 hours to see me. Her fiance, got it, she said she loves. I'm to come up there with me weak health into your mold and smoke-filled trailer so you feel better. Yeah, that's not selfish uh, and self-centered. There's a fucking mold my goddamn trailer. Yes, there is. No, there is not. This fucking paint has been old. It's not mold. But good job pointing out one part of the equation, moron. What, that you're in love with Will? No idiot. The smoke. Oh, sorry I didn't point out that you're in love with Will. Because every fucking sign points to that. If you aren't going to listen just like last night, I'm going. Jamie, you say the same fucking shit. I tell you what, Baldwin, you say the you same fucking listened. shit. Oh, I've, I've listened. listened plenty. I've listened plenty. You're not listening. You still got that fucking dildo of will. Oh, you listen. Quiz time. That is more important to you than oh, you anything. Listened. Quiz time. <clears throat> I'm tired of the fucking game, Jamie. You're playing a fucking game, you're prolonging it coming up here to see me. Why did I say I was putting my friends first, Lorne? 
That's something I'm never gonna fucking stand for. You, listen you wanna to put your front you wanna put your fucking friends first, you go ahead, but I'm not sticking around. I am never gonna have a fucking fiance that puts their friends first. That's not what partnership is about. That's not what being a wife and husband that's not what being a husband and wife are about. He legitimately thinks that you should just have no friends, you know? Just absolutely isolate yourself so that this guy doesn't feel insecure for 20 minutes in a day. It's, I just couldn't imagine someone living through this. Someone, I don't know who the- W-I-L-L. -L. That's exactly what, what it spells. spells. Some days with Cord has been reborn in the name of the Father Son. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know if it's been reborn, but anyway. I don't know why it's echoing, but it sounds kind of churchy, so we'll go with it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't think there'd be someone dumb enough to date Lauren, but if there were, I would just fear for that person's well-being constantly, because, you know, it, it's... I don't even know how to explain it. He's not, sm he's not smart enough to actually manipulate someone, but he's just... He's such an asshole. He isolation. You're not. You can't talk to anyone. You can't do anything he doesn't like. LWO for life. Listen. That is not what answer being, the question, dipshit. That's not what being a husband and wife are about. Answer the question, dipshit. Oh, cause you keep fucking Why doing this bullshit. Why did I say I was putting my friends first, Lord? Don't know. You said it so fucking fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's talking about W I L L spells will. It, it was her her fa her password was nine four five five, um, and Will told him one day, yeah, I figured out her password. I just spelled Will because, you know, people only have the number pad anymore. I guess they don't have a keyboard, so he said, oh, it's my name, and Lauren ran with it. He said that was a fact. He knew that's what it was for. What else could 9455 be? And the persons who password it was told him time and time again, that is not what it is. It is a number I like. Uh, and he just kept going, yeah, fucking Will. It's, it's fucking Will's name, Will. If he believes it, it's a fact. But if, if you believe something, you have to go walk in circles with him to, to get him to understand. He sucks. Uh, oh yeah, Mike Jones is or Mike Jones, <laughs> Mike Scott. You can, I. She threw down the 87s constantly too. I mean, but it's to make a point. You know, this this woman has damaged lungs from being on a ventilator, right? And uh, her 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 her, her physical health and well-being is at is at risk. And he is adamant she needs to get the fuck up there when he smokes like a carton in a couple of days and you know that trailer is just moldy and falling apart and like, come live here i can make it better you know i can make it better it'll be it'll be good when you get here i can quit smoking when you get here he doesn't understand that the smoke lingers like just because you think you can pine saw the walls doesn't mean that like the ash isn't everywhere still and it does not going to still smell like smoke He'll go, I won't, and then like, because the, the deal was he had to quit smoking for her to get up there. And then it warped into this, I won't smoke around you, which, it that doesn't work. You can't do that. It's for bruising. No, well, because you were sick of putting, you were sick of putting first. Well, how's that going to fucking work in the marriage, Jamie? Fucking world comes out the fucking city, and you and you are married, and you and you are married, but you got to put fucking world first. Not what I said. Same fucking thing. You're fucking putting them first now. You listening, go you've figure. been putting them first. You weren't listening, go figure. Yeah, you've been putting them first, Jamie. Doesn't matter how everything sounds to me and feels. Can you shut the fuck up so I can't talk? As long as you get what you want. Can you shut the fuck up so I can't talk? Go ahead. Uh, 
Um, great point about washing his hands. Like, or you know, he doesn't think his hands are dirty if he doesn't see dirt on them. There's a point where Jamie says he's he's a dirty person. He's just like filthy, and he goes, "Haha, I weren't." And uh, she goes, "No, you your house is filthy. Your hands are filthy. Your clothes are filthy." And he goes, "No, I shower every day. I'm not a dirty person." It's like, it's not just because you shower every day, you fucking idiot. Like your your hands are always covered in shit. Your house is just disgusting. It's never clean, but he always says, "Oh yeah, it was clean. It was clean." And then you, <laughs> and then you push on him for an answer. Like, when when's the last time you cleaned, Lauren? Well, it was clean when I got it. How long ago is that? <laughs> like a decade? What? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Does he need splinters taken out? Uh. He did one time. Um, he drove all the way to his aunt's house to get a splinter taken out of his finger. And Jamie was like, God, you're a pussy. And um, not really, but I mean, like, you know, you're, you're a baby. And he goes, well, it was in my, my other hand. I can't use my left hand. Like, I'm not ambidextrous, but I could use my other hand to get a fucking splinter out. I mean, ugh. So there you go. Go ahead. And that James is going to be typing forever. Welcome. Ain't no country boy in me. Um. First of all, it's all about your feelings. It always is. That's the point I made last night that you failed to pick up on and just heard what you wanted as per usual. I listed off all the things I've changed for you and you told me it didn't matter. So I told you if it didn't matter, I'm going to do them. Then you said I put my you. friends first. It does I'm matter, Jimmy. I shut sure. the fuck up. Well, excuse I'm me. Tell me when you the done. fuck up. Well, you gotta tell me when you're done, because I can't tell. Then you said I put my friends first. So I said if that's the case, I will, and I'll show you what putting them first looks like. Oh, why did you hang up? I wasn't finished. I didn't. I just called you. Your service is shit. And so is how you treat me. Let me call you. As I was saying. But in true Lord fashion, he was so self-centered he only heard the parts he wanted then rambled about horse shit all morning.
Thanks, sir. I'm an idiot. Uh, this isn't new. This was on the old Reborn channel before I got nuked by YouTube. Um, I... And, um, so... Uh... Sorry, I got distracted. Uh... Anyways, it got highly requested. Sorry. It got highly requested from, um... Country Songs About Maine and The Cianci Call. So I did all of them. There's a few more that I know that I played. But I'm all on Cunning right now. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do them yet. I think we'll just... Yancey will be the last. And then we will... I mean... What am I saying? I don't do this. Heelborn does this. The Heelborn told me, even though we're not friends, that he's, <laughs> he's going to... Uh, it's been a while. Gimmicks dropping everywhere. We're going to pick up from the pregnancy thing in, in uh, January... We'll ride January to February. I'll try and put as much of those days up as I can. That's when he breaks contact, and then we'll go backwards to the start of the hospital. Or actually before that. Uh, there's going to be a video out at some point, Healborn's going to put out, where uh, the the robot saga is kind of broken into arcs. There's, there's like pre-COVID and then hospital and then moving slash moving in, and then the cam shows, and then internet. When she starts going on the internet, that's where like Rod and Jeffrey are at. Uh, and then they break contact. So it'll like just kinda, cause I know people try, <laughs> exactly, just like Dragon Ball. I know people kinda wanna know like the overall where stuff lies and yada yada. So I figure, breaking stuff down in arcs with kind of dates and general guidelines of what's going to happen but when, once we hit the end of the of the contact it will go to the start and we'll probably just go from the start until where we've already hit which would be january of the next year and go from there but i mean it's, it's gonna take a while guys this I'm, I'm barely getting these calls done once a week one a week so i gotta crack down but i don't have a lot of time the internet. Well, Vex, uh, funny enough, Donkey Kong is something je uh, Lauren gets jealous of, and we'll hear that at some point in time. I know I'm not supposed to tease stuff, but people already know that. Anyway, should we get back to the call and have me shut up? Alright. What? Your connection is shot. Shit. Okay, can you hear Hello. me? Okay, I can hear you. As I was saying. But in true lawn fashion, he was so self-centered he only heard the parts he wanted then rambled about horse shit all morning. Want to you mention want to his divorce and use it as ammunition. How rude and selfish. I want you using that as ammunition, Jamie. I told you from she the left him because she loved you and wanted better for Will Idiot. I told you from the get go how strange your closeness with Will is. Did you hear what I said? No, I didn't. W I I L L. That's exactly, That's exactly what, it what it sells. I have nothing interesting to say right now. Alright, well, thanks, Ramona's diaper. Exactly. W I L L. Exactly. That's exactly. what it sells. I have nothing have interesting to say him. right now. Yeah. Can't do without it. I don't know why I played it a second time. I'm losing my mind here. Yeah. Uh, just listen right. 
Go ahead, I'm listening. She left him because she loved you and wanted better for Will Idiot. But you want to use it to fit your narrative. I'm not playing your bullshit manipulation games. You want a Debbie doll? Go for it, have fun. It's plastic, I'm not jealous of plastic. Well, Debbie doll isn't made from Debbie. Doesn't change my trying, answer. I'm not trying to use any fucking manipulation. Doesn't change my answer. Jamie. I'm not trying to use any manipulation at all, Jamie. No, I'm not. Your fucking closeness with Will. You is want just to fine. mention Will's divorce and use it as ammunition. How rude and selfish. Listen, Jamie. You used to go over to their house. That wasn't manipulation. When you used to go over to their house. Got it. And you slept. And you slept over. And it was Will, then I'm you, then, the again. then Willie. Yeah! Go back to the That's master game. That is goddamn weird. So this instance he's talking about, um, where Jamie slept in between Will and Winnie, that happened one time. And at this point in time, it happened like seven months ago. And he's still acting like it's, oh my god, you remember that one time when that thing happened? That's the reason I'm mad. Go back to the past again. That is fucking weird, Jamie. When you don't mind that Will sees you naked when you have a fiance, that then is you fucking weird. Not propose to me, idiot. You? Why? Because you can't handle not fucking having not having Will see you naked. Are you fucking serious? I'm listening, moron. That's exactly what you just fucking said. No, it isn't. It is too, Jim. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. If I couldn't handle Will seeing you naked, then I shouldn't, shouldn't have you fucking proposed. something from the past. Yeah, because it's goddamn weird, Jamie. That came in the fucking picture, that shit never should have happened! I was referencing that, you fucking moron. Uber servant, what cake? Any second now. The world sees me na- This thing's gonna fucking speak again, isn't it? That's it's I -L -L. L -L. It's exactly what it spells. Thank, Thank you for the hours of entertainment, entertainment precious. precious. Robo Robot Sardu is my favorite, favorite catfish, catfish saga. saga. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I know it's going to sound crazy. crazy. This is going to sound crazy. Uh, I, I never thought people would say that. Uh, I didn't think the robot calls, except for Chef and Rod, would be... Uh, well received I figured that people would think they're boring why don't know too hard on myself here we go it's not your job when you're not working don't shut the fuck up fuck no I'm not gonna shut the fuck up I'm tired of you not caring how I feel about that 
How do you not care about how I feel about you having a fucking dildo made from Will's cock? I have changed so much for you. All I do is what you want for your feelings. Bullshit, Jamie! Bullfucking shit! You won't really in on our fucking argument! You just said it last night! You didn't want him to leave because you wanted his input on our argument! How are you gonna do that when he when he's not here and it's just me and you? I'm not marrying Will! Why can't you fucking see that? Okay then, as I said, I will wear what I want and do what I want. Your feelings be damned. Congratulations. Choose your words more carefully next time. Choose my words more carefully? Really, Jamie? Are you fucking serious? You should be choosing what you want to wear more carefully anyway when you got a fiancé. Apparently, I don't do anything for your feelings. Ugh. Where is that dildo, Jamie? He loves talking about the will, though. Uh, I will say, whoever's putting these robot calls, the videos and texts and stuff together, did an awesome fucking job. Where is it? Is it right next to you? Where are my feelings on that one? Cause my so I might as well it right. I can finally use my whole wardrobe instead of crop tops. I can't hear you. Can you, you hear don't me? like my professional what I do you shouldn't have proposed. Simple as that. Uh, how'd you start talking before I even answered the phone? I didn't. As soon as I answered the phone, as soon as it came to my ears, that's what I heard. I told you before, Jamie, I don't mind your profession. I don't mind it at all. Yeah, I can type it out, idiot. I'm not actually talking. So I might as show it right. I can finally use my whole wardrobe instead of crop tops. You can use your what? Since I don't change anything for long. Jamie. I can finally use my whole wardrobe instead of crop tops. Why is it such a big change to, to want to wear fucking clothes because you have a fiance? Shouldn't you be doing that anyway? It's not just wear clothes, it's clothes you approve of. But, but it's nice that you wear clothes that I approve of. I don't like this, 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 yeah, well, obviously do you do. Your feelings right. Obviously you do. But there's something that it, it just, you know, it, it just shouldn't be fucking happening. Then stop saying I don't, you can't. Where is Will, though? Right beside you, isn't he? One of the things that bothers me the most is you don't want to do. One of the things you just, Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, Farmer. There was at one point, I think those calls were STD episodes. 
basically, so basically, um, so Dump Truck Man was a, was a, there was a call I played the origins of it, but basically, Lauren was getting grilled nonstop during COVID about finding a fucking job so he would get off unemployment because um, he just he didn't deserve it and. Jamie kept grilling him and one day he said he ran into this guy and he drove a dump truck and the story kind of like changes over when he's saying it's like there's a guy driving a dump truck out in some place I don't remember Scout Hegan some bullshit then it turned into he had two dump trucks and he asked the guy well who's driving this dump truck and said he applied for the job Then, then that turned into he walked up to the guy with two dump trucks and said, hey, are you looking for anyone to work? And he said no. And that was Lauren applying for a job, somehow. And the robot, rightfully so, said, hey, idiot, you are a terrible liar and just own it. Own the fact that this didn't happen. And he stuck with it and he, up and down said the sky was real and fuck you and think what you want and then months down the road he goes yeah I did make it up yeah I know moron <laughs> the robot's like y y you didn't fool me at one point in time that's the dump truck story the Christmas tree is very similar uh, Maggie Jo loved Christmas and would throw parties so then obviously Jamie really liked Christmas and they ran out this great party and Moran's like huh I love Christmas. I love Christmas. Now, those that have been around Lauren Nagri for a while, Lauren Nagri for a while, will know that Lauren doesn't celebrate Christmas. I've never heard him get hyped for Christmas ever. And he said that to the robot, oh yeah, I love, last Christmas I cut down a four foot tree in my front yard, took it inside and decorated it and it was really great and Lauren, Lauren just lies instead of things because at the time he was incarcerated for Christmas and when he was confronted with that information I believe he said it was in jail there was a tree in jail but when he got out of prison he cut down a four-foot tree, and that's what he meant. He forgot that it was February instead of <laughs> instead of Christmas, instead of instead of December. And oh, it's muted. Fuck. My bad. After supper, biscuit. I'll read it. Blessed, blessed be brother Blankborn. May peace be upon you. Fuck off, Lauren. Appreciate it. Um, and yeah, Lauren should fuck off. But so then, um, he said it was in February. And she said, you're full of shit. He said, oh, you can believe what you want. And then he told Jamie that she that he put the tree in his living room. And Jamie goes, well, hold on a minute. We were talking then. He goes, yeah. No, we weren't. It was before It was before we were talking. And she goes, no, it was when we were talking. Send me, send me a picture. Or, no, she said, you sent me photos of your living room and there was no tree. And he, he stumbled over his words. And uh, I put it in the spare room. I put it in the spare room. That's where I put it. And of course, if you've seen the spare room and photos, I think I've shared them before. It's a mess. It's just a storage room. And so the robot lies and says, "I, you gave me a photo of the spare room and there was no tree in there. And he goes, oh. <laughs> then he changes it to he had a ceramic tree. Now, we're talking about something smaller than a, than a bottle of, of Coke Zero. So it went from this weird, I cut a four foot tree out in my yard and brought it inside to I had a ceramic tree. Just so he wouldn't be wrong. Just so he wasn't really like lying lying. It's th So those are the two biggest ones. There may be Lauren Liar episodes about those. Back to the call. How can you not understand that is a fucking mold of Will's talk. You don't even listen to what and I'm saying. And it bothers me. You don't even listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, I do, Jamie. 
But you don't listen to what I'm saying. It doesn't matter that it bothers me that you want to wait for me to stop so you can rambles. What so I can respond to what you're saying? You don't respond. Yeah, I do. You tell me how it's not supposed to bother me. Okay, now we have to walk through it again. Tell me how it is not supposed to bother me, the closeness that you have with Will, that is so close that you want him in on our argument. That you're, you're using a dodo that is molded from his cock, that you don't mind seeing him, him seeing you naked. You tell me how that stuff is not supposed to bother me. I say I don't do things for your feelings, right, Lord? We'll do this, we'll do that. Oh, did you answer the question? I must have missed it. Yeah, I did. I said, yes, you do. You do things to, to, to change from my feelings. But these are some things that you haven't changed. Right, how many you know, times did I have to ask? You don't see me. Right, how many times did I have to ask? You don't see me let another woman see me naked. Right, how many times did I have to ask? You don't see me getting the ball up, Barry. With somebody right, else's name, they're from the mother there for their pussy. You don't see me inviting other women in our lives. You don't answer and start saying what you want. What, did I have to change that? You want me to change that? Yeah. You, you've, been, you've asked me a lot of times to change a lot of things. Right, how many times I've been I trying to, to change them. I've been trying to change them. My yelling, I don't like fucking yelling. I love it when me and you get along. Without fucking yelling, we have to fuck. Fucking perfect girl. Stomp on the enemy. Thank you, God. Thank you, Amy. Um, oh man, someone just said something I was gonna respond to. Oh well. Such an awesome. I think that's what Lauren said, but. We do awesome time together. Well, the thing is, you're not fucking thinking about the things that you're doing there. You're not thinking about the shit that you're doing there. Yes, I do. Instead, you want to manipulate me. It's just fucking all the bullshit. Like when you're fucking bullshit. You, you, you think that after I work all fucking day, that's fucking hard as that? You think after I work all fucking day and then I'm hard as hell and tired, you think I'm just you know, just gonna pop up and fucking have sex and fucking be my me with you down there? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're fucking different. Sex, then, idiot. Huh? then don't complain you don't get phone sex, then, idiot. Um, I've been waiting on that for a long time. I know you need to I'm trying to work with you on that because I need to fucking see you change. I was to say, yeah. Uh, he says he loves when they have good times together, but I... I honestly, I don't know of many. They're few and far between. I know there's people out there that think that, like, he's coddled and 80% of the time they're nice to him. But I can tell you from what I've heard of this robot, there's very rare few, there's few times when the robot is around that he is having a good time. They're very, uh, I mean, I think it's probably like 70, 30, and the 30 is maybe the good days. That's why I didn't mention it for a long time. Now the story changes. The story doesn't even changing, Jamie. I was also. I mean, seriously, the 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 good times are very rare. It's like 
you know, if there's like some huge blow up or something and then he wants to talk about sheetrock for an hour, maybe. Or if he is taking a, a test or, or talk to class or something, then maybe. Or if he brings something up that was in like a letter and someone's saying, you know, the, you know this person isn't who they say they are, then there's a good day. I'm saying that you're enjoying Maggie Joe too much and afraid that you two might be getting cold because you never mentioned it to me after you started with Maggie Joe. Uh, I, the hour a day thing wasn't at the end. That was like almost the whole middle. when. So when the arcs break down, so when you get to the point where she's doing cam shows with Maggie Joe all the time, she get, there's an hour a night where she would call it like eight o'clock his time and they would talk until nine maybe nine thirty and she go no nope, gotta go work bye and it'd be like that for nights on end and then that little hour window would start getting cut in in the in the internet part with other guy and it'd be like oh i forgot to call for half an hour and then that's when you get those you 30 over past time you know Complains about wanting it, so I give it to you, and that's me manipulating you. Jimmy, you wait until the night when I'm the most tired. Are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking stupid? You wait until the night that I'm the most tired? And if I don't want it, you fucking uh, you try to fucking pull bullshit with me. Complains about wanting it, so I give it to you, and that's me manipulating you. Guilt trips, Jimmy. Guilt trips. Trips, that's what you do, Lord. And then, I, when I don't, when I don't run because I'm too fucking tired, what do you do? You hang up and you use world doll. You can't have any other elbows. I just throw all them away. There's nothing compares to world doll. Sounds like you are guilt tripping there, Lord. Did the robot ever uh, tell him to stop crying and whining? Uh, maybe. I know a lot of the times the robot did the Ramona where it was like, are you crying? Why are you crying? So that he would talk. Um, but then, you know, she would say something like, you know, you cry more than anyone I met. You're a whiny bitch. You know, stuff like that. Uh, and Farmer, I don't think so. Jimmy. It's kind of a given, isn't it? You know how much I fucking sucks knowing that my girlfriend has a mold of her ex-boyfriend's cock and named it after him? Because you don't want to, I go and do it myself and you are complaining and saying I'm real <laughs> tricky. Then, and, and what do you use when you do it? But I had the thought about talking to Maggie Joe to make a fucking mold of my cock to send it to you. I changed my mind because I was like, no, why would I want to do that? Keep that I said, why would I want to do that? She'll throw mine aside and she'll use Will's. That's why I changed my mind on that one. More assumptions, but okay, thanks again for telling me how I think. Well, you talk about it so much, Jamie. How do you think I'm different. gonna think? How do you think I'm gonna think about that? Lord is changing. You talk about it so much. How do you think I'm gonna think about that? She won't give you the address anyway. I got a address. No, you don't, moron. Slipped up and said that when you were on the phone. What? She slipped up and fucking said that I had her address. 
You asked me if I gave her an address to she me. She did Fucking that fucking stalker. I'm like, no. I didn't even think it was the right address, but that fucking slipped up told me that's, that's her address. No, she didn't deny the It's all the fucking package that you sent the you sent La Madre in. That was her old address she moved, let me guess you forgot. No, I didn't forget, but she slipped up and said, and asked me if I gave her a dress to the that stalker that was driving by her house all the time. I was like, no, she I didn't give anybody a dress. Wouldn't want she did. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't So right here, Lauren thinks that uh, he has her by the balls, as he would say, because when LaMondre was sent to him, he was given an address. Now, he was told after that point in time, did you give your, her address to anyone because there's this guy that was stalking her and that's why she decided to move. And the way it was put to him was, did you give her, did you give out her address? And he takes it as, because I'm a lying, sneaking piece of shit, oh, it's still her address. So she slipped up, when in reality he's just a moron, and it's been told to him countless times that she moved. She was thinking about her old address. Oh, whatever. Oh, but she slipped up long. Oh, oh, but she slipped up Why is she gonna ask me if I gave her some stock of her address? Why would I give anybody her address? Because it happened after she said that to you, idiot. Whatever. Oh, I almost said something to that. Right, it's whatever now. I almost done some stuff for the better so I wouldn't gotten forward to people you guys anyway. I said, I almost said some stuff for that address, so I would have gotten forward to you, you guys anyway. Figure. Go figure what. It wouldn't get forward if we told you that already. Oh, good thing I didn't send it. But you don't Could listen. I took it back to the store and I said, I guess fuck it. I said, I guess fuck it. What's new? What's new? I said, I guess fuck it. I better take it back to the store and ask them first. But it was $187 worth of shit. Yeah. What was it? I had a whole bunch of stuff for you guys. I had, a whole bunch, I had a whole bunch of main stuff, for, well, especially for you. I had a bunch of stuff for you. Sure, you did learn. Growing. I had keychain, I had cups, I had shot glasses, I had hats, I had, you had a special moose, stuffed moose. I had, for, for Maggie Joe and Will and Maggie Joe's fiance, I had, I had hats, I had, Shot glasses, I had keychains. I took them back and I said, I've been probably ought to not send these because I had to get their permission first. Yeah, I'm convinced none of this happened. One of two things happened. Either he did it and sent it and said it didn't happen because it wouldn't get there, or it never happened, and I'm going with the latter. He, he never did this. So you were told she moved. You were told the mail isn't forwarding due to the stalker. So you didn't listen. Or you forgot. I, I forgot about the, from the chain and not being forwarded. What's new? So what's new, Jamie? Get on my ass about that, why don't you? You never listen. Um, uh, do you? Thing that bothers me the most. It's the main show, show and the only thing that matters is your feelings and what you want. Jamie, obviously, it's not just my feelings and what I want. 
I'm doing yes, a, a lot of I'm doing a lot of shit here. Yes, it and is. Asking, and even asking you before I do them. So obviously I'm taking your feelings into account. And I want things to be like you want them to be here. I don't just say the fucking words I love you and not How think about you. How are you me to come there with my cool health and you smoking a pack and a half a day? I wouldn't smoke around you. That isn't you selfish. I wouldn't smoke around you. You would kiss me. No, no smoke on my brother wouldn't. I do take the way you think and don't smoke into consideration. No, you don't. You don't smoke, Jamie. Why would I want to kiss you with smoker's breath? That would be gross. Four. When you come here, this I want to. This is the first year I've brought it up, and it's because you're being shown as selfish. When you when you come here, I want to quit smoking. Ignore what I say. Not ignoring what you say, when you said this is the first something you brought exactly. something up. It's the first, you brought something up. I didn't hear all of what you said. You didn't listen, Jamie. Sometimes you. Uh, You've got a delay on that. To say what you want. You've got a delay on that. I didn't hear everything that you said. You never do. Do figure. Yeah, I do. Um, no, I can't say that because you got delays. I try to hear everything you say. You start talking, I try to shut up real quick. Right, what about the address? What about it, Jamie? I forgot that it doesn't get forwarded. Well, what about me making points last night about what I do for you and you clearly not hearing it and typing all that horse shit this morning? That was a mess. Heard what you wanted right. I was fucking in the well at the bed. I was fucking crying because we... Uh-huh. Hello. I'm here. Yeah, I am. Why? Because I fucking love you and you don't see it. You fucking hammer down on me, like I don't feel like I do anything right for you, and I'm trying like fucking hell to do everything right for you. But it doesn't feel like you take my feelings into consideration when it comes to a goddamn fucking dildo. I fucking hate it. Closest you have a will. Why would you want to invite him into our argument? Why do you want him to fucking be right so there? About this song you raged about earlier. Hey man, if all this goddamn song, do you not realize how the fucking thing sounds? A turtle taking his candies off and you fucking making the dance on you don't you don't realize how that sounds? Okay, so here are the lyrics. Yeah, 
Ramsey makes me dancey. Can't help but shake my panties. Where in that does it say they fell off? That's what you told me last night. No, I didn't. <laughs> I just said the lyrics. So you once again didn't listen and heard what you wanted. Go figure. No, you don't even fucking realize how that goddamn shit sounds anyway. or anything stuck to your bullshit. They're fine, Jaden. I'm sorry that I fucking just fell off. God damn it. So his apology is, I'm sorry the panties fell off. <laughs> Don't apologize for using fucking words. I didn't say they fell off. Say how you don't listen. I didn't say they fell off, see how you don't listen. Yeah, I know, I think about Jamie being right. So here it is for the fourth time, actually listen this time, 87. I heard it. Yancy makes me dancey. Can't help but shake my panties. Where did they fall off? I thought that's what you said last night. I did. Why if I think something is, that something is different than said? I didn't. Why well, I am so sorry in my goddamn bed again. Again, I don't do something right. You do think yeah, go fucking sit here. You hear what you want to jump to conclusions. You're doing it again, Jamie. You haven't changed. No, uh, there you go, you're doing it again. Goddamn will though. You don't give a fuck. It's so easy to say. It's time for a break. Time for a break. You can reflect on what you want. I'm tired of being yelled and screamed at because baby boy Lord only cares about his feelings. 
You know, I'm tired of fucking Jamie wanting Will to upper ton all the time. Will Classy. Yeah, Will fucking Classy, Jamie. You got it living right there with you. But it's not weird, is it? I should be fucking thrilled that you have a mold of his cock. That you've talked about his cock so fucking much. You can get through all your other dildos away because you've got a mold of Will's cock. You want me to feel great about that. How many times do I use? Oh, that's right, you don't know. But it's all the time. You talk about the world do more than I do, idiot. Jamie. You fucking told me this about how many times you fucking use it. On your fucking no, show. Don't. On your fucking show. You believe me, you're using it with me. You do use it on your show. People want you to stick it up on your offices. When did I say I use it all the time? It's all you talk about, Jamie. When did I say I use it all it's the time? It's incredible. Remember? It's incredible. Yeah, yesterday you didn't even fucking notice that I sent you a picture of my cock. When I told you about it, you I never even touched it. I made it. You you never even scrolled up the scene. I said that after I made it, you moron. Dead. And I, I sent you a picture of my car. I sent you a picture of my car, Jamie. I Just haven't said it you, since. You never fucking noticed. You never even scrolled up the scene I when you did it know. since. He's complaining his dick pics and didn't get a compliment. I mean, my god. You never said anything about my picture. <laughs> Notice you're not listening to me. I sent you a picture of my car yesterday. I heard you more on. There you go. Never noticed, it, and when you didn't know, you never scrolled up to see it. You ignore what I'm saying. But you're ignoring what I'm saying. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. <laughs> well, tell me how I should feel about you having I a mold. What I said before talk. you did shit. Well, tell I me said how what I, should I said feel. before you did shit. Here we go. You're doing the same fucking thing. You can't handle fucking listen to what I say. You can't talk over me. Because you aren't listening to me. No, Dick's right about everything. So here's the deal. Jimmy, you better stop the fucking bullshit with the brakes. I'm so fucking tired of brakes. I notice you don't need a break from Will. And you're with him 24 7. This is not just a fucking What do you think 87 did for 4th of July? With Marmaguen and Clan or Solo? Uh, 4th of July. I would imagine. Thank you, by the way. Um, I would imagine he did nothing. Uh, it's very rare. I'm unbreaking up with you. It's very rare that he goes somewhere to do something. I mean, he'll go to his mom's, but if he did anything, it would be with Mom Gwen. But, uh, like, when he went to her birthday party, he was there for maybe 40 minutes and then got up and left. Well, everybody else is leaving. She likes to be alone. So, you know, he doesn't get invited. He didn't get invited to Thanksgiving. Whenever Jamie was talking to him, uh, Roy and Mama Gwen went somewhere and he wasn't invited. But he acted like I wasn't gonna go anyway. Sure you weren't. Reflect on what you did. I'm not going to be treated like this. Have a good day. Hello. Hey, Lauren. It's Will. I can't hear you. Hello, Lauren. I know you can probably hear me. My phone's been doing this. Alright, I'll call you. I can't hear you. Oh, this is gonna get confusing. Alright, but uh, that's not me. Hey, Lauren, it's Will. 
All right, now I can hear you. Okay, how's it going? Huh? I said, how's it going? Oh, it's better days. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not trying to interfere. I know you have a problem with that, um, but, you know, I just wanted to reach out because I, you know, I can, I'm, I'm assuming you two are kind of arguing a little bit, and you know, I, I'm really pulling for you guys. You know, I think that you're great together, and um, you know, I definitely, I, you know, I, I, I take what you said as best man, um, to heart, you know, and I'm, I'm honored to be your best man, and like, I definitely want to try and help it help you guys out as much as I can, you know? I love her so fucking much, Will. Reborn in. So, I just find this, this, uh, I don't know. I just find this situation really funny because he's like, I don't want you interfering, Will. I'm not talking to you about anything. And then the second Will goes, I think you guys are great and I'm pulling for you. He goes, I love her so fucking much. Reborn out. It's okay, Warren. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> Tell me. What... Love her so. I want to try and help it, help you guys out as much as I can. You know. I love her so fucking much, Will. It's okay, Lauren. Tell me what's going on. I just want I want to talk to her. I understand, but she seems I'm so tired of fucking breaks again of fucking breaks. I can't handle this shit. I can't handle her having the fucking mold of your god. It fucking bothers me to know that she doesn't think that it should. What? It's bothered me ever since she fucking made it. Well, it's just for the business, though, Warren. It's not for the business, but she don't fucking need to use it. Well, she uses it for the shows to, like, promote it, to sell it. You know? She uses it besides that, too. She was even gonna use it with, with me one time. I told her, don't fucking ever do it to me. What? Yeah. I'm not fucking happy about her having that fucking thing. Wait, hold on. T hold on, tell me, tell me what's going on here. So... T she's first... trying to make me through. I don't know if she's doing it to fucking make me jealous or mad or what, but she's fucking constantly making Wildo to me. Wildo? Yeah. She fucking named the goddamn thing. You mean you didn't know that? Didn't know what? That it was called Wildo? Yeah. Um, I had a suspicion. I heard the name, but I just, you know, I thought it was some goof or gaff, you know? No, yeah, well, isn't that fucking nice? I'm the only one that knows the name of, of her fucking Wildo that well, she cast it from you. No, I know. We were going to talk about it at the um, next business meeting, but I'm pretty sure that that was the brand name we were going to use for it, because I know that we're calling, uh, like, when we sell it, we're calling MJ's, uh, the John Michael Jr. Jr. I just think it's funny that there'd be ju two juniors, you know? It's pretty funny. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't the time I'm not, I, I apologize. I'm not happy about her fucking using that. I haven't been happy about it since she fucking made it. So what else is going on? You seem like you she had a lot of... She's known that. Sorry, Lauren, I don't mean to cut you off. You, you just it sounds like you got a lot of built up frustration. I just want you to let it all out, man. Like it seems like you aren't able to vent. And I'm I'm here to listen. I promise you none of this will go back to Jamie. So she, she's always finding things that I do wrong. She never fucking recognizes what I'm fucking doing wanting to do for her. Mm -hmm. But it's like you do everything fucking right. Everything we will does is fucking right. Well that's So why should I even fucking try anymore? What do I do that's right? I don't, I'm just some guy, Lauren. She wanted you right there in the middle of our fucking argument last night. I, I couldn't fucking believe it. I, I understand. No. I said, how the fuck is she going to be married to me if Will's not around? Can, can I speak we to... We get a call every time we... 
You cut out. You cut out a little bit. You cut out a little bit. What'd you say? I told you. I said, "What are we gonna do every time we fucking have an argument with that guy, Will?" I'm not fucking living like that. Told her I'm not fucking marrying Will. I'm marrying you. It's not well, a fucking three-way relationship. I told her that so many goddamn times. It's like she doesn't hear it. Right, Lauren, and, and no offense to you by in any means, but just I, you know, I would never accept. You know what I mean? Well, I'm not that. I don't swing that way anyway, Will. Well, I don't swing that way. I'm just saying you're the one mentioning it. I'm just like that, that's know. not the, that's not what I'm saying. What oh, I'm okay. saying. What I'm saying is it's not a three-way relationship. There are not three people in this relationship. There's two people. Well, she, She's always wanting to put you in there and, and get you, you talking mm -hmm. and get you in the middle. And, it, and it, it's funny. I, I'm not doing that. Right. No, and, and here's the deal, Lauren, and, and this is just my perspective. You know, like, what do I know? But I think that at times I can be a pretty good voice of reason, especially when you two are just yelling at each other and you know you're both being a bit stubborn and won't listen to the other person's point you just want to you know talk about what you want you know i've heard that a bit firsthand so when i come in i can kind of mediate does that make sense that's what she does yeah. she, she doesn't want to yell at you she just wants to get i don't want to yell at her i don't want to get frustrated with her i don't want to fucking be like that i love it when we're fucking so good together right i hate fucking yelling She's even, know, but... me to, she's even wanted me to yell before because I turned it on and I didn't want to fucking yell. What? She Yell fucking yelling tired. turned her on? Yeah, she wanted me to yell one time and she was trying to have phone sex with me and I couldn't, I didn't, didn't want to because I was fucking tired and I, I don't want to yell at her. I fucking love her. Oh, that starts, the, you know, that kind of paints a picture for me. I kind of get what you're doing, what you're saying there. Um, uh, you know, yeah, def de definitely that's not good yelling. But, I mean, if she's <laughs> wanting it, I guess it's not. But, you know, I think she doesn't like being yelled at when it's outside of that, you know? Fucking breaks. I, I, I can't do these fucking breaks. Right. Well, I don't I, know. It's gonna be fucking solid, and we're gonna stick together regardless, even if we're fucking fighting. Right. Well, we don't we, need fucking breaks. No, Lauren. When we're married, we're not gonna have breaks from each other. No, I know. But Lauren, listen. Just listen, okay? She's she's dealing with a lot, a lot, you know, and she's really worried about her health and her voice and she still is and we've had you and I have had this conversation before and you know <laughs> she's got all this stress built up in her life I mean you know she was she was turned to drinking for a bit to kind of you know drown those sorrows and you didn't like that and I mean neither did I to an extent you know and um, she has all this pressure built up on her and then and no offense Lauren no offense but you're adding more to that. You're adding more to the load by like. I know, and I don't want to. I know, but I you... don't want to be like this. No, I don't I... want to be fucking mad about things. No, I understand. Everyone gets mad sometimes, but like, some of the things you're asking are either too much, or you know, you kind of have the answer, but you you keep pushing on it because it's what you want. You know what I mean? Asking her not to use will though is not a big thing. Well, asking her not to not to be naked around you is not a big thing. Okay, Lauren. Okay, let's tackle both of those real quick because that's not even what I'm talking about. Uh, for the will though, she definitely uses it for work and she has to. And I hate to say that to you, but it, it it's a must. Now this other, uh, you know, outside of work business, I'll I'll talk to her about that. You know, because um, well, it's not it, appropriate. It's not a must that she that she has to use will though. Pardon. She, she, it's not a must that she has to use will though all the time. No, no, no. She's it, got other ones. She no, doesn't have to use it when she's not working. No, no. She does. No, she no. said, told me she threw away all of her other ones. I said, are you fucking kidding me? You threw away all your other fucking dildos, but you kept the one that you know that I fucking don't like. Okay. Can I speak to that real quick? Yeah. Okay. So she needs to use it for work. We're, we're trying to sell it, you know? And, um, and, um, you know, she, you know, we have two models, so 
you know, the, the, the girls are using each of them. Um, uh, all the other stuff, I mean, I will say this, I think it speaks to the product if that's what she was willing to do, get rid of all of her other toys for it, you know what I mean? Like, I think it, it might be a quality product, but um, outside of that, I, I do think it's a little inappropriate she's using it after work. It's a lot inappropriate. Yes, but I, I think you should be... Want, if I can use it when she's on the phone with me. Okay, that's very rude of her. But here's the thing, Lauren, is, you know, at work, uh, she does use it, and I think you have to be a little okay with that. I understand outside of work's not cool, and I agree with you, but you know what I mean? It seems like you're not at okay work, with it no matter I, what. I would, I would be fine for her to use it at work when she's trying to sell it. Right. For her to yeah. fucking take it back to her fucking bedroom and use it when she's not working and try to use it on the fucking phone with me. Mm -hmm. That's not fucking cool at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. It, it, it's so it's so offensive. Yeah. No, I get it. Again, I do think that it speaks to the product we're making, but I, I get what you're saying, um, that it's not cool. What was the other point you had? Fuck, I can't remember now. Yeah, me either. I'm sorry. Basically, what I'm saying is that the pressure you're putting on her you know, she's trying to recover and, and and get healthy, right? And you're putting all of these restrictions on her, and then you're also pushing her to, like, do things for you to make you feel better when she's got... Like, I think sometimes you forget what she's going through at times, you know? Like, she has a lot. She has a lot of weight on her shoulders. Um, her lungs haven't even fully recovered yet. Like, she still doesn't... She's got to go see the, the lung specialist again at the end of the month. That's when the next appointment, they, they push it out a month to see how well it would work, right? And then after that, she'll start going to see the, if it works, if it's, you know, taking, she's going to go see the, the vocal cord specialist. But it's like she hasn't even really seen them yet because her health was so poor. But you're like, and again, Lauren, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to give you some perspective. You're demanding her to go see you. And, you know, like, and no offense, but you, you smoke like a chimney, man. And, like, that's not good for her lungs, and they're damaged. And, you know what I mean? Like, even uh, if we came to visit... I want to smoke, I want to smoke around there. No, I know, but, Lauren, like, okay, so just say Jamie and I, Jamie and I drove up there, like, in a couple weeks, like, you know, a week from now, and went up to see you, right? Your, your, ha your trailer's going to smell of smoke. It's all going to still be in there. It's not like it just no, magically no. disappears. Yeah, it can, it can magically disappear. No, it can't, Lauren. That's the thing. It can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it can. It can be here all real fast and Lauren. find all all the place and fucking. Lauren, your your walls are stained probably from how much you smoke in there. <laughs> no, they're all fucking panel walls. Okay, I'm Except saying it's like it's in the wood. Panel. You smoke so much, Lauren. Like you're 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 just making. You know, you're just making things to, like, try and justify how you're right in this situation. And I'm telling you, like, it's a little selfish, dude. It's a little selfish. Why can't you just wait for her to recover? And then you have all that time to either quit smoking and get, get the house in a, you know, or the trailer in a, in a situation where you, you, you know, won't damage her. You know what I mean? Like, you're running... The, I can't wait. I don't want to fucking feel close to her. No one her send me pictures. And she's making the big deal and send me pictures of her. Lauren, we've talked about the pictures Jesus before. Christ. We've talked about the pictures before. She doesn't like sending them. Like it's just, it's just how she is. It's who she is as a person. You're like demanding every. You're demanding her to change her complete personality so that you feel better. Which means that, like, it doesn't seem like you should have been with her in the first place. Because why, you know, if you have to change that much about her, you know what I mean? No, we should have been together already. Well, Fucking COVID-19 happened. Yeah, and that's another thing. You're trying to get her to go up there when COVID's happening. Like, do you think that, you know, she runs the risk of getting sick again no matter what. But traveling across the country or however far, you know, away we are, it's like... You yeah, she's talking about... She's talking about wanting, to, about wanting to fucking do a goddamn movie with, yeah. with three, four guys that she don't even fucking know. Right, but they're all the tested. The place is hot with fucking COVID-19. Yeah, but everyone would be tested, Lauren. It doesn't matter if they're tested or not. They can get tested and walk right out of that fucking building, and they could get it from somebody else sneezing. Right, so but you breathing on them. Right, but so you want to use that same logic that you don't want to use that same logic on your argument of her coming up to see you. 
No, I don't. I don't want her getting hurt. Right. I don't want her to end up back in the hospital again. Right, but you want her to come see you, and you're you're willing to ignore those facts, but you but you use them as facts for her not to do things in her actual life around her. You know what I mean? Like, she wants she to work. Up, do you get what if, I'm saying? If she came up, if she came up, me, she'd be in the car with you, and then you'd have stuff for gas one time, and you use credit card for gas. Right, like we're not going to stop and get food at any point in time. You know, like. Get back lunch. Are you serious, Lauren? I did. Lauren, are you I fucking serious right now? I do it all the time. Lauren, you're you're what? sounding a bit selfish here, dude. The what? Hey, just stop by a fucking restaurant. Stop by a restaurant. You right. Won't be going so, inside anyway. Right. You right. So them. those stops, those stops won't matter. But her going to a place where everyone's tested, and someone could just happen to sneeze on her, that's that's different, right? Come on. Um, the whole thing ain't safe, period. I know that. Come on. Be a little fair here, okay? It's, Pull yourself so out of your feelings for a second and look at the situation. It's so fucking hard. I wanna, I wanna fucking be with her. Yeah, I get that. I get that. But like, I think that you hyper focus on your feelings so much and you kind of for, you, you forget about reality and, you know, the certain circumstances she's in. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to understand that. I think you're right, I do. Yeah, because you go on and on about she should be up there and this and that. She told you countless times why she's here. Right? And it's yeah, it's for the end goal of to come up and be with you. So I don't understand why you think that she doesn't care or anything like that. I know she cares and I know she loves me. Right, I've seen her change damn near her whole personality just so you don't feel bad. And that's, that's you know, not, in my opinion, that's not really cool, but whatever. I'm so fucking I love you, whatever. Fucking Christ. Yeah. I'm starting this fucking business so I can fucking... Oh, congratulations. bed for her. It's hard because we're always talking during the day. Mm -hmm. When I'm working, I feel so bad because I can't fucking talk to her. I just think you need to relax a bit, dude. I'll talk to her about the Wildo stuff, but like, outside of that, she's done a lot for you and I think that you just get hyper-focused on one point and start saying that, you know, like you do with me when you say, you know, all the time this is happening and it's not. It just isn't. I don't So maybe, you know, when she says a break, maybe she's just doing that so that you'll take time to maybe think about your actions, you know? I understand she does too, and I'll have a talk with her, but... You get- it seems like you get a little unreasonable, or you don't listen. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, sometimes I, sometimes I don't listen, a lot of times I don't. Yeah. And I know it's not, it's not fair to her when I don't. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I fucking love her so goddamn much. Tell me why you love her, Lauren. Sometimes I feel like she doesn't fucking realize that. Tell me why you love her. Because she's, she's so fucking special. She's being real with me and she's fucking so nice. I can see me through so much. Okay, reborn in. What the fuck is he talking about? She's so special. And the second thing he said was, she's so nice. All around, awesome. When is she nice? When, <laughs> when, 
He can never describe why he loves someone. He can never give details of his feelings. It's all just this vague, so special and so precious. It's, I mean, right, he believes in her, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just, there's nothing. There's not even like a, not that this would count, but there's not even like, there's this time where Jamie was there for me in a time when I needed it. It's just, she's so nice and she's so special. Uh. All right, we're going out. What makes her special? It's the way she is. It's everything about her. I fucking love it. She loves spending time with me and I love spending time with her. Why is she different uh, from like your other fiancés or exes? Because she's real. <laughs> she's going to extent to make sure that I know she's real. Reborn in. I... <sighs> There's so many, so many weird places to go with that, but that's the re- Why is she special? Why is she different from your exes? She real. What? That's all? That's all it takes. That's all it takes. She's real. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't imagine. That's the only criteria you need in your life is that, <laughs> is that they're real. More human than a human. I heard Jamie's got a machine head. First one I've touched it for a little. God knows how fucking long. What do you mean by that? I haven't been able to trust anybody for a long, long time. Not that long, before before that, sorry. But how long? How long has it been, would you say? Since Paula. What, what do you mean by, um. That was you know, 25 years ago. That's a long time. What, what do you mean by, like, um. She's real. You know what I mean? She's real. She's not trying to be fake with me. Oh, be fake. Okay. Not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Were you engaged to Paula? No. No, but I was, I was just in love with Paula. I was re really in love with Paula. She said, and she affected me a long time. So were you, were you, why? Because I was so in love with her. Yeah, but why were you in love with her? Why was I in love with her? Yeah. Because I spent a lot of time with her. Oh, okay. And all the time, it was, it was always me and Paula. Right. You couldn't find one of us without the other one. Right, but like, you know... Obviously, time together is important, but there had to have been other factors, you know, like... Yeah, it was the way she was. She, well, the way she portrayed herself, at least. How did she portray herself? At least she was in love with me. But you guys weren't together, right? Nope. How did she do that? How did she, how did she show that she loved you? And she gave me attention. She fucking. She was always wanting to be where, wherever I was. I'm reborn in real quick. That's. That's it. Wait, that's the only reason that I can find of why this man was obsessed with this woman for 25 years. She gave me attention. She gave me. Attention. That, that's it. There's nothing. There's no connection. I guarantee you Lorne can't name anything about Paula. Outside of things that he experienced with her, like, she worked at a bar. Or, you know, like, we hung out together and we did these things. I guarantee he couldn't name 
like her 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 dreams, her aspirations, her favorite color, her favorite anything, her you know uh, her life experiences. I, I bet he can't name any of that shit, but he was obsessed with her for 25 years because she gave me attention. She was focused on me. She wanted to, to be around my family where, where I was when I was out in Washington State. Mm. She, loved, she loved being around me all the time. Right. Right. I never came up and asked her to be my girlfriend. I never, never came on stage and asked her to be my girlfriend. It was time to be respectful and give her time to get over her ex-fiance. How much time did you give her? Time to probably give her six months. So... When I didn't make a move on her, and somebody else I can ask her out went out with him and fucked right. him and even fucking asked my brother and sister in law if it was alright she brought him brought him over to over to their house when I was living with them. Mm -hmm. they, they said yes. Yeah. I couldn't fucking believe it. Maybe so that night that night I went over and fucking I went and slept with someone else. Why wouldn't they say yes? Because they knew how I felt about her. Right, but do you think that maybe she just loved you as a friend? Like, maybe why do you why do you think that she was yeah. in love with you? Because she made she made moves on me. Like like what? Like she got me, lay beside me, and she was rubbing my stomach and my chest, and then she she get down to my bottom of my stomach and she stopped there every time. Well, why didn't you just make a move then when she was rubbing your stomach? She was because rubbing I, your little Buddha belly? Oh, no, yeah. Well, I didn't have any little Buddha belly then. I really don't have one now. She was rubbing on that, I praying to Buddha? Maybe I got a little Buddha belly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so why didn't you just like kiss her or something then? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, like you it's two good. were in a bed alone, right? There's no one else there, and she's just rubbing yeah. your belly and chest, and you did nothing. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't figure it was time to make a move on her yet. Were you waiting for her shirt to come off or something for the move? Uh huh. Were you waiting was for her top to come off before you before you would make a move? I don't understand. I don't know. I was being shy, I guess. Oh, okay. Were you not very confident in yourself then? Huh? Were you not very confident in yourself back then? Uh, I, I, I was for the most part, but there were times that I weren't, and I was unsure of exactly how she felt, and I don't know, something stopped me from making a move on her. I know, well, here, here's what I'm saying, Lauren, like, if someone, if I was laying in bed with someone, and they started rubbing my belly, I definitely would think that that's a clear indication that she is interested. No, oh, yeah, I know. And uh, <laughs> that really baffles me too, because anybody else that has made a move on me like that before, I'd, I'd get rid of that. I don't know, I guess I had a lot of respect for her, and didn't, just didn't feel like it was time to make a move yet. Mm -hmm. And I guess she did. Hmm. Um, I slept with her after, after she went and didn't sleep with her. I had sex with her. Pardon? One time, one time after. And then she, well, after she was engaged to that guy, she had broke up. She had him drop, drop her off the Reborn in for just a second. So, remember when Will got on the phone and he said he wasn't going to talk about it, and now he's spilling every fucking detail he can about this woman he hasn't seen in decades? I mean, it's crazy. 
Can you imagine being 50 years old and being obsessed about someone you knew for six months, you know, 20, 30 years ago, 15, and um, you, you were never with her, you knew her for six months. I just, it, it's it, crazy doesn't cover it in my book. I mean, that's a high level of obsession for so little in, in the span of your life. It's crazy. It's because uh, Lauren wants Will to go back and tell Jamie. Well, maybe. You might be right, Pee Wee. I think it's more he has someone listening to him that isn't um, telling him he's stupid and an 87 and he's a liar. I think that plays into it a bit, too. 1996. Oof. Three more now. Which bothered me. Baffled me. She made move on me then, and I didn't touch her. Oh, okay. That's weird. So she waited until she was in a relationship and then had the, the guy drop her off at your house and you guys slept together. Yeah. So was it good? No. Oh, why not? Because it wasn't. Usually there's a reason why it's not good. Well, yeah, she, uh, she just, uh, just the moves that she made, the way she didn't, uh, I don't know, maybe it was the way I felt. Okay. Yeah. The moves she way. made? Like, sexually, or just? Yeah. Well, just, I don't know, just, uh, it might have been more the way I felt than any moves that she made. You just, just because of everything that had happened, so it might have been the way that I felt. Yeah, I mean, I just... I, it... lost, I lost so much respect for her. Yeah. Oh, okay, because yeah. I was going to say, you know, what, from my experience, you know, usually when you're in love, uh, you know, it's going to be good. Yeah, I lost so much fucking respect would... for it. Uh, oh, okay. That's probably why I just wasn't into her. Yeah, well, why didn't you just, like, show her what you wanted or something, or, like, you know, try and get her to a point where it was good? Why did you just go, this is bad, and then just sit there? Well, I don't know. Probably, I, probably because I just didn't care anymore. Well, okay. I lost so much for her. Yeah, but... I lost so much for her, but I was still in love with her. You know, and it affected me for so many years after that. Yeah, but if you were in love with her and it affected you for so many years after that, why wouldn't that one night, why wouldn't those feelings be there? You know what I mean? Why is it that one night was the only time it affected you? I guess cause the, the way that she fucking, the way that she did, that she did what she did, the way that she went out with some guy after all this time that we spent together, like it meant nothing to her. I, I guess that that's probably what affected me so much. When it meant so much to me, it felt like it didn't mean anything to her, but that she couldn't, wouldn't, uh, that she would turn down date for someone with someone else and then wind up sleeping with someone else and, right. and getting engaged to him and, and then when the, her, she broke off her engagement with him she went back to Alaska and she came back and, and my neighbor Jim I was working for him at the time well, he could tell how her and I felt about each other and he told, her, he told me he said why don't you ask, me, ask her to marry you well, I, I guess she got but I guess Jim had told that to my brother too and what he told him what he said to me and I guess my brother told her and she told the brother to tell me not not to ask her to marry me and marry her not to ask her to marry me because she actually would marry me what and yeah I know it didn't make sense yeah that's the dumbest thing I ever heard so, so, so it's like she was just being engaged with somebody else just uh, fucking be engaged with them or just for a place to live or some fucking shit. It didn't make any sense to me. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense because you think if you were to ask her to marry marry you and she would say yes, that she would want that and she wouldn't tell you not to do that, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, don't, I don't think I've gone this 
in depth talking to uh, or telling Jamie about Paul. Oh, okay. And I probably should, but she hasn't. She just asked about Paul, but mm-hmm. I didn't. I guess I didn't really want to talk about Paul because I'm so in love with Jamie that I just don't want to think about Paul. Right. Right. Um. So, if you had already lost respect for her, <laughs> and you didn't feel those those feelings for her, then why are you still holding on to it, like, 25 years later? You know? Um, it's, not, it's not her that I'm holding on to now. Now my problem is the, is the shit that people have done to me in the last... Well, you, you mentioned her. Yeah, I know I mentioned her. And you she, said that it's affected you for until now, so that's why I asked. Yeah, yeah well, because I've, I've never been able to trust anybody until Jamie. It was because of Paula. Oh, okay. I've, but I've, I've never been able to trust anybody fully in it until Jamie. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I think me... Me getting all, all worried and upset about things, I think, is just in defense mode because I know how much I trust you. I mean, I'm just, I guess I'm just scared of it. It's okay. Let it all out, Lauren. I love her so fucking much. But she mentioned the fucking dildo so much, and she, she acts like it shouldn't bother me. Are you sure that she mentions it so much, or that she mentioned it a couple of times and you're acting like it was all the time? No, oh, she's mentioned it too, way too many times. Right, well, and I mean, again, you know, not to dredge up the past here, but I knew, do remember you saying she used to talk about something about me all the time, but it, it really wasn't the case, you know? Yeah, well, no, not literally all the time. When I, when I say all the time, people do yeah. I don't know why people would want to get technically. They don't think it's technically well, I, up here. Well, I mean, technically, most people around the word, world, if you said, I do something all the time, they would assume you do it all the time. They wouldn't think it's just like a, you said it twice type deal. Um, you know? She's mentioned, she's mentioned it too often. Like, I don't know if... See, that's, you know, I would say maybe choose your words a bit better when you talk to her. Yeah, I know. I've, I've noticed I have to do that, too, when I keep forgetting. Because I'll tell you this, Lauren, if I said I eat chocolate all the time, I would think, you know, I do it often. But if I said, if you said something like, you know, you call me, you know, idiot all the time or something, then I would expect that, like, I always call you an idiot. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I just think that, I think that maybe you are so focused on it that you are... You think it's happening more than it may, might be? Yeah, her bothers me. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that it's too much, you know, regardless if she's doing it, but... Still. Yeah, it bothers me so fucking much. Yeah. It's like she doesn't care if it bothers me. It's just plastic, she says. Well, it is so plastic. It's more than that. Why is it more than plastic? Huh? Why is it more than plastic? Because it was formed from you. No. You know, that, that's being too close. Well, it's not. I mean, it's a product we're selling. Yeah, but it's, for her to use it on her show, fine. Uh-huh. For any, for her to use it after that, to throw all her all other ones away, that's too fucking much. Right, but like... That's way too fucking much, and she's... she's said it before a couple of times before when she was in the hospital and a big beautiful cock seriously do you really think your fiance wants to hear that shit right yeah that's inappropriate I mean I do appreciate the compliment but I get what you're saying um I don't know like cause we're selling it you know what if like um you've got a sister right uh huh you've got a sister right yeah. So, like, if she had a will, though, would you be mad? No, I wouldn't give a fuck if she, I wouldn't give a fuck if she, 
she had a fucking shovel up her ton. I wouldn't get to get less what she uses. Right, I know, but I'm just saying, like, you know, it's just plastic then, right? Yeah. Huh. But when it comes to when it comes to Jamie, you know, she's she's not my sister. She's my fiance. Right. I mean, she's someone that I, I've never been so in love with someone as I am with her. Does your sister actually put shovels in her vagina? Not so far as I know. If oh, she does, okay. I don't want to know. Oh, okay, I just thought it was very specific. I just thought maybe that's something that happened. No. No, it's just me being a smart ass. Oh, okay, sorry. I wouldn't I have no idea what she sticks up there, and I don't want to know. Right, yeah, me either. Well, I mean, I know that she does a lot for you in in the sense of making you feel better about whatever it is. I mean, like I've told you, her nice yeah, relationship we, is. Uh, oh, go ahead. I know we do a lot. I know we do a lot for each other. I know she does a lot for me. I, mean, I know she, she changes the way she does things. And, right, but you don't say that. You say that she never does anything, right? No, I don't say she never does anything. I know she changes things for me to make me feel better. I know that. Mm -hmm. It's like she she mentions Wildo way too fucking much, and I, and I think she's doing it to make me mad and, and jealous. Why would it's she like, do that? Exactly. Why would you, why would the fuck would she do that? No, I'm saying why would she try to make you jealous? I don't know. This seems stupid. It seems extreme stupid to me. Yeah, I don't think Jamie's the type that does that, Lauren. <laughs> she mentioned way too much to me. Right, I understand you made that point. I'm just saying that I don't think that she's doing it to make you jealous, because you guys are engaged, so why would she need to? I don't know. That's what blows my mind. Uh-huh. And I include her in on everything that I'm doing here. I, I asked how she wants things and what and what she wants. And, uh, I, I make sure that she's included in uh, everything. I right. want the house to be there. You know, I want the house to be what she wants. Mm -hmm. The way she wants it. <laughs> well, you gotta she understand. Wants. You gotta understand that she's got a lot going on here, and she's just you know sometimes. No offense, but like, I guess you know your trailer isn't top priority all of the time. Yeah, you know? I know. I'm trying to do things to get further ahead here to be here. I can get this job that I need for this lady and setting up the business. And I need to get this fucking house man. Oh, you got a I'm job? This house. Well, I'm going to be working for this lady that I'm building her, um, her addition and redoing mm -hmm. her old house that she has. And then I have yeah. my old house that I have to tear down. And I have so when do you start working for that lady? That, well, I was supposed to start today, but Roscoe got sprayed by a stock glass. I just wanted to fucking cleaning today. What do you mean uh, cleaning? But you know, getting kind of the smells and the stunk smell out of here. Have you washed Roscoe with like uh, soap? Yeah, I've been, I've been washing the wads. and gave me pictures last night. I, I wasn't gonna call her. I was gonna let her. They were the friends. Reborn in. I would like I would like to state that Lauren called out of work because there was a, a his dog got sprayed by a skunk. Now, I mean, what? Why? This, the eighty-seven levels are off the charts. It's getting me uncunning right now. Let's say, okay, so he says he washed the dog, right? He, he did this and that. So what else could you do during the day that you have to take work off that could resolve the problem? What what possibly in your mind makes you think, well, the skunk sprayed my dog, I washed him, and he still smells kind of like skunk. I better call out of work. What are you doing during the day that makes up for missing work for that. I don't get it. It's so stupid. Yeah, Farmer, he called out for being for crying one day. 
he I don't remember the excuse he used but he him and Jamie got in this big fight or went on a break or something and uh, he called out of work for crying because he was crying um Oh, uh, Ramon Cypher, well, that's cool that you took your dog to a vet for a special bath. You know what Lauren did? He sat at home and sent, and sent photos of his dink and, uh, and, and cheat rocked and something. Like, he didn't do anything for the dogs. He just didn't work. Um, I think there's another time I called out of work too. I can't remember what it was. But I was like, fuck me. I, I know you're supposed to use tomato paste. I thought it was tomato paste. I love tomato juice. But I didn't have that. I had tomato sauce. Tomato, and tomato what? Soup. Yeah, tomato juice. Oh, okay. To get the stuff all out. But I didn't have that. I had tomato sauce or I had tomato soup. That's all the tomato stuff I had. So I was going to see if Jamie could look it up and see if, that's, if, if that stuff would work. Yeah. But then, but then Mom uh, looked it up this morning and said that vinegar and and baking soda and soap. Yeah. This this soap. Yeah. Is, is, is the stuff to, to mix together to use. And yeah. You can't put a cover on it because it'll explode. Wait, what? You can't put a cover on it because it'll explode. Put vinegar and baking soda together. Yeah. And, and it foams all up and shit. Yeah. So have you done that yet? Yeah, uh, you have to go bath in that this morning and I'm trying to fucking cream some other some shit up here and get the smell out of here and dump it out in the outside and I got two gallons of it. I'm trying to fucking wash shit and with it and uh, I can still fucking smell it. I had to go to Walmart and I smelled like a skunk. That sucked. Then I got a fucking ticket. I got to stop today and got a fucking ticket. 326 fucking dollars. What? Impro improper passing. Improper record, passing. Yeah, a record wasn't in, in front of me. There was a cop car right there with his lights on. There was another car, that was, well, there was a cop car, then a driveway, then another car parked up. And the record turned around and no. fucking, and, and the cop car was on the side of the road. So I didn't, didn't know why he was on the side of the road, because the other car was up further, you know, way too far away from them. Yeah. And the record turned around and went up, and, and I thought he was going. Like leaving, and he fucking went to stop right in front of that car that was on the other side of the driveway. And so I started going around him, and then he started fucking backing up. So I fucking stepped on it so I could get around him. And the fucking cop came and stopped me. Mm -hmm. And a fucking ticket for three hundred twenty-six dollars. Oh you wow! Fucking cop, sucker. Yeah. It fucking pissed me off. When do you have to pay that fine? Reborn in. Did he just call the ticket a cocksucker? I I'm pretty sure he did. Reborn out. Fucking cocksucker. Mm -hmm. Fucking ticket for three hundred twenty-six dollars. Oh you wow. Fucking cocksucker. Yeah. You fucking pissed me off. When do you have to pay that by? I don't know. It's hard to read his writing, so as soon as I get the money, I'm just gonna go and fucking pay. I should fight him. Oh Tell yeah. Him, but... Tell him I didn't know fucking what the guy was doing what the record was doing. It looked like he was continuing to go to me. But I'm just gonna pay the fucking thing. Right. So they gave it to you for improper passing. Yes. Fucking record bullshit. He just wanted me to just fucking quota. There's a young guy. Oh yeah, they're quotas. I'm trying to look on here and see what the date to pay by was is but Yeah. You know. So that happened when this morning? Yes. That's Jamie, that's... Doesn't, Jamie doesn't even know about it yet because we're so pissed off with him. Yelling at each other. Right. It seems like a theme between you two. <laughs> I mean, I fucking hate fighting with her. I love her. I fucking love her. We can get along so well when we get along. And there's fucking things that just... We don't agree on sometimes. It's fucking... Mm hmm. Can I ask you, when, when you saw that car, why didn't you just stop instead of, like, trying to speed up? Because it was on the side of the road. Like, literally on the side of the road. 
The Sega Saturn is a home video game console developed by Sega and released on November 22, 1994. It has a dual CPU architecture and date processors. The Sega was a 28.8K modem that fit into the cartridge slot. I don't know how to turn the echo off. I feel like uh, Tim in On Cinema and the Alien sound. Turn it off. Raptor Bacon, thanks, sir. Um, I'm so glad to get that tidbit of information about the Sega Saturn. Um, truly a masterpiece of, of its time. Uh, I mean, the Sega Netlink. I mean, that's just... That's history, you know? Uh -huh. It was the cop car with his lights on in the driveway. I figured the cop must have stopped somebody else. And that other person had left already. It was on the side of the road, but it was backing up. The cop car? No, the cop car was... The, no, the other was, car. The other car was, just, was on the side of the road and just staying, just staying still. But it was on the other side of the driveway. The cop car was so far away from that, I thought that he had stopped somebody else and that other person had already gone. And the cop stood set his lights on is what I thought. Because the record... Stepped on the gas like he was actually going to keep, continue going straight. Uh huh. But he was going where? Huh? But where was he actually going? He was actually going in front of that car that was on the other side of the driveway. He was going in front of that and pulled in, in the lat. And I was right behind him. I thought he was continuing to go. Uh huh. He was pulling over, pulled over to get in front of that car. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, okay. So, whatever. Fucking pay the, pay the fine. Yeah, are you going to be able to afford that? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be able to. Right. Well, I mean, you missed your first day of work, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I'll live. Then I missed because of the fucking Roscoe skunk. Yeah, you called out because so, of Roscoe? Yeah. Does he still yeah. smell? He doesn't smell, but it, I think the fucking skunk sprayed underneath the house somewhere and God knows where. Oh, okay. Is, so, was, the, was the lady mad that you called out? No, she understood. Oh, okay. And I told her, I, I said, you don't want me coming there right now, and I stink. So I did, I smelled that skunk. Is that what you, oh, okay, I was gonna say, did you just say you stunk and that's why you couldn't come in? No, no, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Well, that's a first for me, I've never heard of, I can't come in and work, I was sprayed by a skunk, but I get it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I wanted to go there and stink her nose up. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. But if you don't mind, I wanna, I wanna give Jamie a call and talk to her. I'm gonna tell you, I don't think you're gonna get a hold of her right now, Lauren. She alright? She's mad and upset. Well, I think you should just cool down a bit more. Let her cool down, and then have maybe go back at it, you know, later tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think yeah, you're probably right. Get yeah, your thoughts in order. Present them in a respectful manner, you know. Yeah, I know. Get back to me and her. Just what, fucking. What do you mean? Just break it. Get back to me and her. Being have to be me and her without yelling at each other. What do you mean back to you and her? I don't understand. Back to me and her, like, like we normally are with all yelling. Oh. We're all, we're all being mad. Yeah. So you're not working on that. I'm sorry. You, so you're working for this lady to tear a house down? Yeah. Yeah. Some guy wants. Well, he wants to put a module home in. He was he was gonna fix up this old house that yeah. he grew up in. And he'd, he'd been, his mother was still living there, he'd been fixing it up, but he bought the property and the house and his mother had moved and, uh -huh. and so he'd 
decided to stay out. He had a couple of, he lives out of state right now, works on the railroad. He mm-hmm. had a couple of friends come up and look at it, that work in construction. They told him that he'd be spending well, way too much money trying to fix it up. Mm-hmm. It would be better to just tear it down. Yeah. Why don't? So, why would you need to call out if you're just tearing a house down? Because it smell a little bad. Why would what? Why'd you call out if you had to tear a house down? No, 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 not not that. Oh, sorry. I asked if the teardown was the job with the lady, and you said yeah. No, no, the tear down, the, the tear down is a job that that I've got separate from this job with the lady. Oh, so you have two jobs. This, this, yeah, this lady has an old house that she's well, an old apartment building that she's fixing up. And oh, okay. That's, that's where I'm working for her. So how much is the how much are you making for both jobs? Uh, one job, nothing. The other job, can't tell you. Nothing. One job, I get to keep the material. The one that I tear down. Oh. I get, I get, get to keep everything in and all in the material. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, makes perfect sense. And the other job, I don't discuss my pay with anybody but Jamie. Oh, okay. Why? Because I don't have to. Oh, all right. But, I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not prying here and just. And, well, to be honest, nobody else does business anyway. It's not in Jamie's business, and that's a... Well, I mean, technically it's just your business, because it's your job, right? Yeah, but Jamie's my fiancé, so I, I do tell her every day. Yeah. But... Hey, right, I'll get off the phone here, Will, so you can... Yeah, all right. Well, I'm glad that you're a little more calm and relaxed. Um, again, I'll try and talk to Jamie at some point before you, you guys talk tonight. How about that? All right, it sounds good. Okay, you have a great Thanks, day, bud. Thanks, I appreciate it. You too. Yeah. Mm, bye. Mm, bye. I love you. I'm sorry for being selfish. You're everything to me. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Lone World Order. There you go. Dinosaur Tornado, definitely a spot fest. Um, I don't know if I'm the main event, I'm probably like the uh, opener, but... That was... Yancey Fallout. Uh, again, that'll be put up on that stupid guy right Heelborn's channel. Probably tomorrow night. If you want to re-listen to that hour and 40-something minutes again, without me yammering for most of it. Uh, I mean... It's up to you. It's up to you. It's your life. Um, that's all I got, guys. So I guess we'll call it here for Sundays with Cod Reborn. Uh, next week should be back to the normal scheduled program of clobbering time. But, oh man. Um, Enjoy your. I hope you had a good weekend, and hopefully your week goes by quick. Hit that weekend. Stay safe. And.